Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Lemmy Development and welcome to our Xcode tutorials where in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to load up images from your image library and display them within an image view. So this will be carrying on from our camera view tutorial uh, where I showed you how to um, take images on your device's camera and display them within the image view. So in the interface, if I just quickly go into it now, uh, this is where we left off on that tutorial. If I just make this button uh, reduce the size there, and I'll just copy and paste it, and place that here. Uh, I simply name this button Photo Library. And I need to make sure I remove the connection from the action there on that one. And then, if we click on View Controller and go to our System Editor, all we're really doing now is clicking and dragging and creating a new button. So we'll name this one Photo Library. Uh, make sure it's selected as an action and connect that. So now if we close the uh, system enter there, go to our view controller dot H. Uh, see as we're carrying on from our previous tutorial where we showed you how to uh, take photos, uh, we still need um, everything that's already added in here. Uh, just the benefit we don't have to do it as we're carrying on. So you make sure you need to have the UI navigation controller here and the UI picker controller delegate, uh, an image view, a UI picker controller and a UI image. So everything you're seeing here you're going to need in both the camera tutorial and the photo library tutorial which we're doing now. So you make sure you have that all implemented in. Uh, secondly, if we go to our view controller.m, we can see where our previous tutorial here, where we add the code here to take a photo, uh, the code here for displaying the images once we've finished picking the media, and again uh, to dismissing the view if we choose to cancel. Now, these two sections here, they do apply for picking a photo from the library. So again, you need if you only want to uh, have be able to pick photos from the library you can get rid of the camera section here this is more for the library but if you want both options make sure you implement this but whatever option you implement you need to have both of these sections highlighted here okay then so what we need to do now then is in our photo library here we need to do picker is very similar to um, taking the photo we just do a different source uh, on our picker controller so we do picker space equals space bracket bracket uh, capital UI uh, image picker controller um, type this out picker controller and we need to alloc allocate it and then do space in it and that a bracket and a semicolon now we need to do did I spell that right oh missed out the capital on the picker there there we go some reason it's not doing it there we go. Okay, then so now we need to do again picker uh, dot delegate space equals space self in that with a semicolon. And now we need to do bracket picker once more uh, space set uh, source. And then in the highlighted section here, we need to do um, UI um, picker controller source type photo library. And then once we've done that, in that every bracket in a semicolon, and then we need to present the view. So we do bracket self space present uh, view controller uh, highlight section. We select picker animated yes completion no, and that bracket in a semicolon. Now this is identical to the code in our taking photo. The only difference is when we got the uh, where we kind of wants the source for the image to come from. So when we got the set source here. Uh, in the photo, we have um, so in the taking our camera, we've got type um, camera. In the photo library, we have got type photo library. So that kind of distinguishes where the photo is coming from. So as this is already implemented, this code here to be able to uh, um, place the image we select or take within our image view, and to be able to cancel the view if we do choose to cancel, that's already implemented, we can go straight to build on my device. Now as I'm not able to do this on the simulator, I'll be doing this on my device, so we're going to select my device and then build and run. Okay then, so once it's loaded up on my device, you can see there's nothing being displayed in the image view at the moment. We can take a photo, 
and there's my lovely lamp. We can cancel it as we're not going to need to take a photo. And now we can go into our photo library and select one from our camera roll. Now, first it's going to ask us, would you like to access your camera or your photos? And you can obviously press allow. Go into camera and select one. I've got a picture of my mouse here. And that's simply how you uh, display images from your photo library into an image view uh, within your app. So just like uh, taking photos, I can again take a picture of my lamp, use that, displays it in the uh, image view, and go to photo library, got some wallpapers, and a bit of this guy, Walter Weiss. So again, that's simply how you display images within your imagery from your photo, um, taking your camera, and most importantly, uh, this tutorial from your photo library. So I hope if, the, if this helps any apps or projects at the moment, uh, make sure you follow us and like us on Facebook and Twitter just to keep up to date with what's going on with us. Um, if you haven't, make sure you go check out all our apps on the App Store just by simply searching Geeky Lemon. And most important, the most important of all, if you haven't, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next time in our next tutorial. Come on, Bob. Come on. Come on, Bob. Oh, I got it in my pinky! I got it in my... No, it's not my pinky. I got it in my finger!